I started drawing figures around 1979, but it wasn't until 1983 that I began doing them strictly on illustration board. Back then it was my ambition to become a commercial artist for magazines and books. Some of these images made it into magazines. In those days, even though I signed the art with my name, I went under another name when the art was in print. In retrospect, it was probably a bad idea. In the 90s, I started using other materials in my work. Paint, photography by way of Xerox copies of my photos, collage elements, images of my coming of age. I think these images popped up quite a lot simply because I really felt that I was reliving my youth over and over again. More recently, I've started painting. In fact, there was a time I thought I'd abandon drawing altogether. I found that for me, the abstract was successful, yet my attempts at the more representational just didn't match up to the drawings. So the paintings I do have a life of their own. They have some similar elements as the drawings, like photo collages and graphics, but still they remain a separate thing. My art has found its way into several galleries around the United States. No one-man shows, but a fair few juried exhibitions. My work is personal. Some may say too personal. But it's the way I work. To do images that tell only half a story would be tedious and unrewarding to me. I fall in love with each work of art. They have a language in themselves. And they say things I find hard to put into words.